Have you ever experienced a sense of division? In today's society, unity is constantly under attack. Today, I'd like to share with you what the Bible says about unity. In 1 Corinthians chapter number one, verse 10, it says, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say and that there be no division among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. And in chapter number 12, verses 11 through 12, it says that it is the one and only spirit who distributes all these gifts. He alone decides which gift each person should have. The body, it has many parts, but the many parts make up one whole body. So it is with the body of Christ. Our first and foremost priority is to be unified in Christ. This unity with Christ is not just a mere association, but a transformative process with, uh, that gives us a new identity. After taking on a new identity, we now are working together as many different body parts that make up the one body of Christ. This means that we function differently within the one body of Christ. We may have different gifts, talents, and traditions. However, we must not lose sight of the common unity in Christ. He must remain our focus. As we fast and pray today, let us keep in mind that if we have accepted Christ as our Lord and Savior, we should walk in unity with one another as believers and pray for the unity of the body. Let's pray. Father, I pray that you open up the hearts for those who may not know you to come to know you. And I pray for those who do know you that we might be reminded that we need to be unified in Christ. Help us to know that through Christ, all things are possible and that we are one through him. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.